WHDD presents Susan Says. I wasn't going to watch the Oscars, as this year I have not seen any of the movies. But I tuned into the pre-show, and I was kind of intrigued. The set, the train station in L.A., it was really cool. Well done, the way they decked it out. I had no idea who those hosts were, and they were, well, shall we say, meh. But the production numbers of the nominated songs were very well done, and so I stayed tuned. From the opening walk with Regina King through the station to the interesting table arrangements and stars, social distancing in some great ball gowns, I settled in. Well, in my opinion, it was a very good show, a production by Steven Soderbergh who knows how to direct and it showed. The different angles, the many hosts, the personal facts, it all made for a warm, almost intimate evening. The awards were evenly spaced out among the different movies. The speeches were a tad long, yeah, but there were some very lovely ones. The only problematic section was in the in memoriam. First of all, it just rushed by way too fast. The only decent pauses were for my dear Sean Connery and Chadwick Boseman. The Stevie Wonder song, All Wrong, and some people were missing. Though a friend reminded me it was last year, not this year, who knows, whatever, that was bad. I thought Anthony Hopkins deserved the award. I do understand the feeling, the emotional thing about Chadwick Boseman, but he did get an awful lot of other awards. Perhaps they could have given him a special one for his bravery and his many performances. But this is for the work only, and Anthony deserved it. He was so gracious in his later recorded speech. Now, I know this sounds a bit bitchy, but can't Frances McDormand just even comb her hair a bit? You don't have to glam it up or wear a nice dress or makeup, but bedhead? No. The most impressive person to me was the director, Emerald Fennell. This British actress, not only was she in The Crown, but she wrote and directed Promising Young Woman while she was pregnant. Yeah, that's talented. To all those complainers, yes, everyone can have an opinion, but come on, get over it. As a show, it was an A- minus for me, and the ads, especially Rolex, Google, and Verizon, an A+, plus, which is interesting in itself. Very emotional, socially relevant, and cool. So there. Susan Silver was one of the original writers of such TV classics as The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Maud and Bob Newhart. She lectures and teaches sitcom writing and had a column on the New York Social Diary called The Search for Mr. Adequate. She hasn't found him yet. Appearing on TV and radio often, she expresses her views on life and opinions on everything.